Good day, Cancer, and welcome to my channel. This is your weekly reading for April 29th to May 5th. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope this reading resonates with you. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? King of Spades. Oh. Oh, let's change that up. Five of Spades. Then the King of Spades. Then the Nine of Diamonds. And the Five of Clubs. Okay. So... Your general energy this week is the Five of Clubs. Adventure, change, good positive adventure, change coming into your life uh, this week. Um, but you need to broaden your horizon. You need to go through a bit of negativity in order to get to that adventure and change. This can very well be somebody asking you to go on an adventure with them, right? But the adventure is something that you're not really uh, interested in. And the cards are saying that's the negativity because you're not interested and it's going to be negative to you uh, at first. Uh, but the cards say no, broaden your horizon and you're going to find out that this is going to be a very good positive adventure and change for you. Uh, so definitely uh, something comes up that's negative to you that you just, you know, it's not your thing, whatever. I mean, it can be, it can be as simple as... Um, uh, you know, having to put on a suit, <laughs> you know, just that, all right, because you had to put on a suit or something like that, you know, um, and that's negative to you, you don't like where, you know, you don't like being in a monkey suit, uh, but broaden your horizon on that and go with it, wear that monkey suit, and that's going to bring you to uh, really positive, great adventure and change in your life. Um, at the beginning of the week, there's a warning, there's betrayal coming. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to lead to a breakup, but somebody is definitely betraying you, and uh, it's going to lead to a breakup, but the uh, cards say it's time. It's time for this to happen. It's time for this to change. Perhaps this person has uh, betrayed you before, or perhaps the betrayal has been going on uh, longer than you knew, you know, and it's just time. Like, it was meant to end way before, and but now, you know, the cards are saying the time is up, you know, and, and it's going to happen. There's going to be a breakup. So the beginning of the week is going to be a little, little rocky for you. In the middle of the week, you're going to find yourself in a leadership role. Um, and you need to use your head while you're leading. Uh, you need to not let your ego, uh, get to you, you know, don't let your ego control things. Uh, which when we are in a leadership role, it's really easy for our egos to take over because, well, why are we in a leadership role, right? Obviously, because we're the best at what we do, right? That's usually the reason why we end up being a leader. Uh, but a good leader will listen to the people that they're leading, right? They will take their advice. They will, uh, you know, their ideals and all that stuff. So definitely don't just sit there and be like, aha, I know everything and nobody else knows anything. No, you want to be a good leader, listen to your the people that you lead you know and and that will help you progress a lot more um, which will help you progress into the end of the week here the nine of diamonds uh, a wish fulfilled through your hard work there will be wealth and abundance but you need to know your worth and accept your worth and make other people see your worth you know and respect it uh, so I feel like even though you're in a leadership role uh, perhaps you're like, you're still not for sure, you know, about yourself being in a leadership role, uh, or at the end of the week, you start questioning, you know, uh, your worth as a leader. And, uh, what the thing is, is that first you need to know your worth. I, I feel like you don't know your worth with whatever it is that you're leading in. Uh, and then you need to accept it. And then you need to present it to people that this is my worth. And I, I, you know, expect people to see that. So, 
yeah, um, definitely, 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 you got to uh, really keep your ego in check because the thing is, is that once you learn your worth, that could actually strike up your ego even more because you're going to be like, aha, <laughs> I'm in a leadership role and I'm this, you know, so you got to be careful with that and not let that, you know, spike up that ego. I really think that an ego is, is, is something big uh, going on this week is your ego. Uh, I think you're going to be fighting with it. Um, even when it comes to the adventure and change, I feel like, you know, you're going to take, you're going to broaden your horizon and go through that negativity. And then, you know, you're going to see that you're really, uh, I feel like you're going to see that you're really good at whatever the adventure and change is. And that could add on to the ego and make it worse, you know. Uh, let's go ahead and see what the uh, tarot cards have to say. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known. What lessons need to be learned? Oh, yeah, there you go. Wow, yeah, this is all about leadership. I mean, not the betrayal or anything. I think that's just a separate issue that's going to be happening with you. But the rest of this, yeah, you got the five, the five of wands, which is a leadership role. This man is trying to lead these people who are practicing, you know, their fighting skills. And, um... Uh, Again, it's just, it's basically this card uh, for the most part. And it's just saying that you need to work as a team. You need to work as a team with the people that you're leading, right? And uh, But you need to know your worth and make them respect your worth. You know, make them respect the fact that, yes, you'll take their advice, you'll take in their uh, ideals and whatnot, but if you come to an outcome where the ideal or the advice really doesn't work in said situation, uh, that they will respect you uh, for that ideal, you know what I'm saying? But this all starts with you, you know, respecting your own worth and knowing your own worth and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, just, woo, definitely leader, leader, leader quality going on here. Um, but I feel like you're going to enter this leadership by broadening your eyes and, and doing something that's negative to you. Uh, and then it's going to go really quick. Like really, really quick. Because I feel, I feel like whatever this is, that you're better at it than you, you think. You're better at it than you know. And that's why at the end of the week you really need to uh, buck up and, and realize, you know, your worth in whatever this is. Um, but yeah, teamwork. Definitely teamwork with the people that you lead. Uh, don't lead with your ego, you know. Don't think that you know it all. Really take in people's advice and whatnot and, and analyze it. So there you go. I hope this resonates and I hope it helps in some way. And if it does, hit that like button. And if you would, please comment, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you back here next week. And until then, stay safe, stay mindful, and stay healthy.